<clears throat> hey everybody, this is Variet Smith from Phil Veracity Design and I wanted to share a quick cool little plugin that I found and uh, I'm going to be sharing more and more of these as I find them. There's so many out there. There's over 40,000 plugins in the WordPress repository. Well, <clears throat> here I was building a client site and I found out that I, I have a need to duplicate a menu because I, I just really don't want to rebuild the entire menu. So I want to record a short recording and I go if you go into um, the WordPress plugin um, installer from your dashboard, then type in duplicate menu. It's a really cool plugin. I actually found it here um, on the repository. It's just called Duplicate Menu. And so, it's the first one here. It's by a guy named Jonathan Christopher. This guy's actually written some really good plugins. And here's another one. Um, another plugin by the same guy, Jonathan Christopher. It's called the Attachments Plugin. And I've used it on other websites. Well, I'm going to install this one. <clears throat> I know the guy. I've worked with some of his plugins in the past. I've actually used this plugin before. So if you want to duplicate a menu instead of rebuilding an entire menu, install this plugin just like that, activate it. <clears throat> this is the menu right here that I want to duplicate. It's got a lot of stuff on it. But what it's going to allow me to do is duplicate it so that I can sort of have a backup menu. There's, there's probably tons of other easier ways to do this. Um, but at the moment, I'm going to do it this way. So once you install the plugin, you activate the plugin. The next thing you can do is go to the menus area um, and click on the menus area. And you come here to the actual menus, er menus area. And um, <clears throat> there's actually a duplicate menu here on the, the little sidebar. It's not in the menus area. So we're going to duplicate the menu that I imported from my client's website. And it's only really one menu. So I'm just going to call this, um, uh, I'm just going to call this primary because I want to keep the original one, um, the menu one. I just want to keep that as the backup. I'm going to modify the primary one. So I'm going to duplicate the menu. It's just so awesome. I think this is a great plugin. So it's so easy. Duplicate your menu in WordPress and um, you can go in and then you have a backup of a previous menu and you can take the previous menu that you had and um, remove it from the position that it's in and have yourself a new menu. So I've got this menu the one menu one, I imported this menu from another website. I've got it in the, the actual, not the position, but the location um, of this top area here, which is called primary menu. So now that I have this new duplicate menu, see it shows up here, I'm just going to add it into this theme location, save that, and I can go here and refresh the front page you won't see a difference because I just duplicated the menu but now I can take this menu that I just duplicated and I can edit it and just one little cool thing that I want to do is see the home icon on here plus the word home I think that's a little bit redundant so what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to edit this menu and take that label away and there's probably a better way to do this. Probably just hiding it with CSS would be better. But just for the sake of demonstrating this, let's go ahead and save this menu. After we have removed um, the label, the navigation label, which will probably replace. Um, and, oh, it looks like the menu item actually disappeared. So that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Anyway, uh, what I can do is I can just go in here and add the menu item. Oh, no. Actually, the menu, uh, the primary menu 
what's the one that I looks like I added it. So I'm going to select this one again. Let's see what, what's going on. Because if I go out here, it looks like I edited the menu one, not the primary menu. Yeah, so this is menu one, but I'm, I'm wanting to edit the primary menu here. And let's, let's just see, it's probably going to remove the, the actual, man, <laughs> this is an impromptu video and it shows. So it's probably going to remove the menu item just like that one did previously okay so it's going to be better for me to hide it with css just like i said but anyway you get the you get the the um the point of this video was that you can duplicate a menu it's pretty cool um i've added that home uh label back and now i'm just going to go ahead and build this menu the way i actually want to build it after i've duplicated with a cool little plugin so you know, with any of these little tool type plugins, you can go in and you can remove it as well right after you've installed it and used it for the purpose that you want to use it for. I use a lot of these little plugins just to help me build websites. So, hope you enjoy this and um, have a great day.